YouTube. It's uh, time again for another bit of a ASMR video. I'm up here today with a ASMR uh, pickup video, and uh, today I have a few things I traded in. Um, I just thought I'd mention that uh, um, because I traded in a, a bunch of Xbox games and stuff, because I have the uh, Xbox Game Pass and the EA Access, um, I decided that I'm, I'm gonna go digital. For uh, the Xbox One, just because it's just a lot easier, and uh, you know, I, I've been hearing a lot of negative comments about the Game Pass, and uh, I just don't see why. I think you know, people are complaining. You're yeah, saying it's uh, seven ninety nine um, for you know a bunch of games that aren't that great, but you know, most people just they're not ready to uh, open their minds and try out some of these games because they are very good games and. Okay, maybe if you have most of them, it, you know, it's not for you. But it's, it's aimed towards people that, you know, have just got an Xbox One or, you know, looking for something to play. And, you know, uh, Halo 5 alone is is like uh, still £40 on the game store. So, you know, it's in the Game Pass. It's 7 99 you know. If you add up all the games in the Game Pass, it, it, it just comes past 7 99 So I just think that people just need to be a little bit more open-minded. A little bit of cock here today about the game pass so anyway i got 58 pounds uh 50 trading credit i got some dvds uh one of each xbox system games and uh some ps2 games so let's start with the dvds up first we have 28 days and 28 weeks later it was two pounds i've seen 28 weeks later and i've seen about an hour of uh, 28 days later uh, pretty good sort of like a zombie or infected you know movies um, but they're, they're pretty fun uh, good movies you know and for two pounds it's it's a uh, <laughs> it's not bad for both of them uh, just been watching some more films i'm currently uh, watching some simpsons uh, <laughs> until my friend comes online tonight uh, we're going to play some shadow warrior 2 because obviously i did he did game share finally and uh, i also picked up the uh, season pass for battlefront because i have ea access so i got it next we have shrek the third uh, 75p um, I've seen the first two movies and I think this and the fourth one, I think I've seen all of them, but I'd only had a physical copy of the first and second one. So I picked up the second, uh, the third, sorry. And also, and that was 75p. And also for £1.50, check forever after the final chapter. So I picked up both of these movies and, uh... It has a bonus Donkey's Christmas Spectacular in there as well. So, you know, two movies in there, I guess. <laughs> a little bonus disc in there, which I don't think is meant to be in there, but hey, uh, you know. And last DVD was Wiley, Coyote and Friends. It was one pound. It just comes with a bunch of Wiley, Coyote cartoons. I just thought it would be a... A good one for the uh, Logan when he's born, it gets a bit older. Uh, Looney Tunes, classic. And then some games, uh, one Xbox, classic game. I picked up Counter-Strike on the original Xbox. I know uh, this game, you can't play it <coughs> online anymore, um, on the Xbox at least. Um, but I uh, haven't got this game and it's an exclusive I didn't have. And it was only a pound and the box is in. Fantastic condition, that's why I picked it up. Uh, very common game. Uh, it, I think it has a, a campaign to it. And you can play against bots, so it might be good for a video. One Xbox 360 game, I picked up Lego Indiana Jones The Adventures uh, Continues. So, Lego Indiana Jones 2 The Adventure Continues. You know, six pound. Um, I've had it before. Pretty good game. Uh, just don't have a Lego game into the collection that I don't have. And last on the Xbox One, I picked up Dragon Ball Xenoverse. Uh, Twelve pounds. Um, I haven't played 
um, this game that's why I picked up the first one I want to play the second one of course but I picked up the first one because you can play through the game offline so I just thought I'd pick it up because I hear it's a, a pretty decent game uh, like I said I'm going digital but uh, you know I think it's more expensive digital so uh, I'll only get digital games when they're on sale or, or maybe a couple of digital games a month you know so I can build up the collection have more games but don't take up space and then the PS2 games are all in order uh, cheapest to most expensive so we got Poker Masters 50p's not really much to say about it just a, a poker game you know but uh, I didn't have it <laughs> uh, so I need to sort out my uh, um, <laughs> downstairs I need to sort out my uh, um, bookcase uh, the games are all over the place and um, so I'm gonna sort that out after this <sighs> coke in uh, a glass bottle is so good so good then next we picked up rugby championship 2006 or rugby challenge 2006 uh, just uh, another sports title that I didn't have and it was 50p didn't have it so decided to just pick it up I don't think I have it at least next we have um, music maker um, magic's music maker not really a game it's more of a well it is you know it's a music software developer you can make music a few of these were released on the PS2 and the PlayStation 1 and even the PSP um, not really a game but 50p um, just something to go in the collection again uh, you don't see these that often um, and the condition is really good next I picked up a Formula 1 2001 but it's the limited edition pack and it was only 50p there are two versions of this game there's this one which is the Sony version, but there's also the EA version. So be careful um, when trying to find these games because they are different games, but they have the same name. The only difference with the um, limited edition is that it comes with a bonus DVD. Uh, the official review of the 2000 FAI, FIA Formula 1 World Championships. Then I picked up Kengo Master of Bushido, 50p, complete, good stuff, uh, it's a, a sort of samurai fighting game, I think I have one on the Xbox 360, uh, they're not great but didn't have it. Then I picked up Transformers the game, based on the first movie, no manual, but uh. It's an okay game, it's not the best um, Transformers game, but it's okay. Um, but it was only 50p, so I didn't have it. Then we have Fruit Machine Mania, 75p. Um, it's, it's a budget title, of course, um, made by Liquid Games. Um, they don't really, um, most of their games, I think, are quite basic. But, um... Very cheap game, it's just a slot machines um, or food machines as they're called. Um, you don't see this one that often in the wild actually, so picked it up. Then, happy to find this Legend of Wrestling 2. I want to get all the wrestling games at one point. Uh, this one is in great condition, it feels like it's never been even played before. Uh, you know still smells new <laughs> um, but uh, yes uh, the, they're not good games the first one is quite common this one you don't see as often actually so it's it's weird to see that uh, why you can't see this one as much as the first one um, the first one uh, a little bit of a story I played with my friend and he was on one side of the ring outside and so was I and I managed to throw a, a kendo stick and it hit him somehow I, I don't know how then we picked up NFL Street 3, £1.50, and that was a pound, sorry. Complete. 
good condition, a very good condition. Feels new again, and it's an NFL street game. It's sort of like FIFA Street, but NFL. I think these games are quite fun. Then I picked up The Incredible Hulk, the official video game. I don't think I have this one. This is the only Hulk game that I needed to have all the Hulk games. <coughs> Excuse me. On the Xbox, uh, the PS2. There's also one called Hulk. And uh, the other one is Incredible Hulk. Uh, Playground of Destruction. I hear this is a, a pretty good game. Only pound fifty. Then I picked up a Marvel Ultimate Alliance. Cases in amazing condition. I do have um, a loose copy of this on the Xbox 360, um, but I picked up the PS2 version just because £3.50. Um, I picked it up because it's, I don't think I have this game. Part of me thinks I do, but I, I, I know I don't have it on PS2. And um, yeah, so happy to pick this one up. Um, a very good game, and um, yeah, very, very fun game. Um, so very happy with this one. Um, these are these have been remastered on the Xbox One. So I'm gonna pick up the next digital game I'm gonna get will probably be uh, the remastered bundle that comes with both games. Uh, so good. Then four um, pretty decent titles here. Picked up Auto Modelista. Uh, this is a Capcom racing game. I believe it is an arcade game originally. I'm not sure. And it was a £4. I don't see this that often anymore. This isn't an easy game to find for some reason. It's a cell shaded racing game. I hear this is a really, really fun game. So, picked it up. Next, I'm very, very happy to pick this up. Mortal Kombat Armageddon. Five pounds, but there's something about this game that you must know. Um, there were about four or five Mortal Kombat games on the PS2 with different names that had different bonus modes. This one has the kart racing, yes, Mortal Kombat kart racing. Also, look how many characters 60 plus characters in a Mortal Kombat game. This is considered to be one of the um, most, uh, the best Mortal Kombat games just because of the amount of characters that are in there. They also had Deception. I was attempted to pick that one up as well, but I believe I have it on the original Xbox. So, um, I keep tapping the button, <laughs> um, but yeah, happy to pick this up one up. I'm looking forward to giving it a go. And then two pretty uh, uncommon titles here. Jaws Unleashed. Uh, this is a, of course, based on Jaws and it was six pounds. But it's a, a Jaws game where you actually play as Jaws. I've seen some gameplay of it and it actually looks so like, like a lot of fun. Um, so it'd be interesting to give this one a go. Most of the games that I have, I will do gameplay on. Some of them, maybe not, but. Uh, this is one that I, I definitely want to show off. And last but not least, Ligaya 2, Jewel Circuit. It's £8, the most expensive of the PS2 games. But it's a RPG made by Edios. Or Edios. And um, it doesn't look great, but it's a JRPG that I didn't have. And of course, JRPGs are getting more and more expensive on the PS2. So happy to pick up um, another one into the collection. So those are the games that I, I picked up today. Um, all trading of course. Um, you know. So happy to pick up each and every one of these. Uh, I'm looking forward to playing this one. Of course some uncommon titles in here. And some fun games of course. Um, I did this video because some people have been asking about ASMR and they want to see some more ASMR so I did this for you guys um, I don't know if there's going to be a gameplay video today uh, I see how I do for time uh, more than likely I'm going to um, 
be on the Xbox with Ryan soon, so probably won't be doing a, a gameplay video today, but I'll be able to do one tomorrow at least. So, you know, some solid games here, uncommon games, and of course, basic, solid, uh, <laughs> great games, of course. <laughs> and uh, yeah, happy with everything that I got here today. You know, so can't really complain, got a bit of everything. Excuse me. So, there we have it. So, this has been a, a small ASMR pickups video. Um, I hope you guys uh, enjoy it. Um, sorry, it's not the longest ASMR. Um, you know, I don't want it to go on for too long. Um, just because... I have got a few things to do, um, so I'm gonna end the video here, uh, have a coke on me. <sighs> so good. And uh, yes, if you enjoyed this video, feel free to leave a, a thumbs up and comment below, let me know if any of these games are worth anything or if they're any good and of course feel free to subscribe if you haven't and join the family and of course feel free to follow follow me on twitter at kaiga1234 uh, 1324 sorry um, and of course i will be posting uh, updates to the channel and other random stuff on twitter not on it every day but you know so follow me on that if you want to and of course have a nice day and i'll see you in the next video which should be some more gameplay i don't know what game yet it might just be some more star wars battlefront or we might play uh maybe uh something different or maybe i'll continue with uh dead island i don't know so have a nice day guys and i will see you soon and uh just a, a little bit left see you later bye bye